I've been drunk all day. Nigga, I could fucking tell, bro. Wait to have sex tonight. Don't mention that in this episode. Huh? I'm about to go live right now. I don't give a fuck what I said. Yo, come on. You know, don't get me. Where's my cup at? Where's my cup at, man? Don't try. Don't. don't, That don't have to do with me, brother. You here now. You don't know what you just stepped into, bro. Right. You don't know what the fuck you just stepped into. No, just think you're wrong with you. Leave me alone. Whatever I said, this bitch getting posted. Damn, Damn man. Hold up. Hold up. You trouble, my nigga. You, you fucking trouble. Whatever trouble, I said, yeah. this shit is getting posted. <laughs> I'm set. Oh! Got yeah, niggas we and whiskey, man. Yeah, man. We here with Marcus and B, man. M fucking B. Yeah, we a nigga. My nigga lit. Remember the fucking name, nigga. My nigga M lit. M fucking B. Remember the name, nigga. Nigga, yo, to be real, nigga, you yeah. know I love the energy you bring every yeah, single fucking you. time, yeah, I nigga. You, gang. I love you, you was, around you was here, here for the, You was here for the, for the performance? I, was, I called a few. I came late, but um, no, was... No, for my performance. Yeah, I seen that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's like I said, that's why I knew you was lit from when you was performing. I knew you was just fucking lit, nigga. That's the first performance, by the way. I know. I peeped that. And these niggas got my first interview. Yeah. We the whiskey, Dude. man. Come You're just on. popping a lot of cherries, We the whiskey, dog. man. Hey. <laughs> popping cherries. Popping, popping cherries is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> but I, I said that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga having a first. He's Yo, becoming a man. Yeah, I'm on it. I'm on having sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Finally hit puberty when it comes to this media <laughs> shit. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> How did it feel being your first time on the stage? Yo, yo that shit was great, my nigga. In your hometown. Go, no, no cap. In all honesty, I thought I was gonna be scared as fuck. But when I got up there, like I feel like I was a whole nother person. Like that shit just didn't embody me. I was like, oh shit. And mind you, the first the first um, performance, I was by myself the whole time. I just was feeling myself. I don't know why, but I was really feeling myself the whole shit. Like, I knew I had some shit that niggas was gonna fuck with, and niggas was really fucking with it. Like, feel me? And they was fucking with it the way I thought they was gonna fuck with it. Okay. So I dropped it. They loved it. And I didn't even, like, I just, like, the crowd wasn't even there, man. I just was there by myself. Like, mm. no funny shit. Yeah, everybody but then was. when I turned around and I looked, niggas was going crazy. I'm like, nah. Feel me? Then I did another one. Niggas went crazy for that. Then I did the last shit. The unreleased I joint. Like I, the last two was unreleased. Okay, so, so you back see, you dropped it Backseat was unreleased, and hold up, but he even played late night special for me. I did four songs. I was, about to say, you I was supposed four, to do three. Yeah, yeah. I was supposed to do three. So I did Summer's Over first. Then I did. Um, I think I did. Did I do Backseat night? No, I did. This Summer's thing is so late. Here on no, the no, fuck I, you I, did. I didn't remember the order. <laughs> like I only sent him three songs, and he did four. So I did Backseat. Um, I did Summer's Over first. Then I did um, Ladders. Then I did Backseat. Then he just dropped late night special out of nowhere. I didn't even think he was gonna do that. Like, Cause no the way cap. your reaction was in that yeah, shit dropped, yeah, you were shocked he, as even fuck. On, even on ladders, bro, he he ran ladders back like three times, and I wasn't even expecting him to do that. But that shit just gassed me up even more, like for me. And the fact that he ran it back so many times, niggas was going crazy because it was like, nigga, whose song is this and why he going crazy? Like this, <laughs> for me? That's how I felt, like no cap, cause like nobody, not a lot of people that was out there that performed. They didn't get to run their songs back to me times. Facts. They kept running my shit back. But my and nigga, that made me feel even, really from good. What, even from Soul Food Sundays, nigga, they know you that nigga already, nigga. I love nigga. Soul Food Sundays. Shout so out Soul Food Sundays. If you don't think other people see you as that nigga, why don't you feel other people outside no, of like that see you as that I nigga, feel dog? Like that, but I just because this is your first show, don't mean niggas right. don't know, nigga. I do feel like that, but all I'm saying is like I never performed before. So, so niggas know you. As far as like a reaction, I didn't know what type of reaction I was gonna get. But regardless, I was gonna go out there and give it my all, and that's what I did. I gave it my all, and niggas was like, yo, like people walked up to me after the performance was like, bro. I can't believe that's your first time performing because you really went hard. Like, you really a natural at this shit, like, for me. And that's what makes me really realize that the ch- the path that I chose is what I'm supposed to be doing. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like, I never, like, I always knew that music was what I was supposed to be doing because everybody in my family does music. Like, my, my aunts, my uncles, they play instruments. My mom is a singer. All that. Like, for me, my older brother could sing. Like, a lot of, my, a lot of people that I grew up around rap. I was born into such shit. Like, I made my first song at 11 years old. Mm. But... I never took it serious to that extent. So when I started, ma- I started taking it serious is when my man's Keith, me and him was going to the studio, me, Keith, and Sway, like we was going to the studio every fucking Saturday with um, my engineer, Too Wavy. We going to the studio every Saturday. And like, once you create your first, not even project, just your first song that you put together by yourself, you realize how like, how special it is because it's something that you created yeah, from you. And then to see other people react from it, that's why I felt so good out there because like, 
it's the shit that I knew was good to me. But I don't know if it's good to you. Facts. So if it's good to me, I already know it's good to me. I'm happy with what I got. But when I see it's good to y'all, it make me a hundred thousand times more happy. Facts. It's like everything that I believed in myself, you believe it too. Because I'm making you believe that Facts. it's good. And that's what I did. Like I, I I brought my stage presence. I showed niggas that this is me. This is what you're gonna get. And and for most people that walked up to me, they was like, yo, this is not it's no way in hell this is your first performance. I've been doing this for a minute. Like I said, this is my man's key. He got songs from way, 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 way back. I, it was me and him performing in the beginning. So I already got the stage presence as far as performing because I just was like helping him and his shit. You already been so there. So I already know. I've been there and done that. So it's like, it's not like I'm just a nigga that just picked up a mic at 2022. No, right. I've been doing this shit. So with that being said, um, something that you said, do you feel like after this being your first performance on, do you take yourself even more serious as an artist yeah. now? Because I realize once you once it's to that point, you realize like niggas really like you, bro. Like it's not just you having a, a um, I don't know, I can't think of the word, but it's like it's it's a certain sense of confidence. You're not just that, living in your own right, sociological you know, imagination. Bubble, like, you don't no have more. a certain type of confidence in yourself. You see people responding it's like to the shit really that you're putting like, out. They're interacting with you, so it's like people that I didn't even know was coming to my state. I said coming to the state, and they was remembering certain like lines that I said, and they was repeating them in front of me. Shit Facts. that I wasn't re- re- wasn't remembering. Facts. They were just hearing it. And they was like, all right, bet. That's like, a great ass feeling. Exactly. That shit felt so good because like I need more. y'all y'all genuine like this song. It's, ver- it's different be- between like me playing a song for you. You just bob your head. You like yeah. oh, this shit hard. But it's like I listen to it Versus outside me, of you. You listen playing. to it without me. Exactly. And then coming back and saying a Yo, line. That shit was from hard. Yeah. Exactly. Saying a whole line from the song. And I'm like, oh, he really do like. It's this motivating. Song. Exactly. So it felt really good tonight. Um, Shout out Weed and Whiskey Podcast, man. Shout out Moco. Shout out Giardis is lit. Shout out everybody that was here tonight. But that shit felt amazing. My nigga, at the end of the day, I did three songs. And I didn't fucking have the jitters at all. No anxiety, no nothing. My nigga, I felt great. This shit felt amazing, bro. Like, I felt like I want to make 19,000 albums right now. That's how I feel. (laughs) Like, no cap. It felt good, my nigga. Like, for real. So, I'm I'm really happy with, with the outcome. I'm really happy that first of all, this is my second interview with Weed and Whiskey Podcast. Third, actually, I did one with Gogo. I did one. Um, what's bro name? Oh, Quell. Yeah. Quell. And this is third yeah. one tonight. So I'm it happy as fuck. One today. These Today's are my niggas, bro. One. These are really. Yeah. These you the, family, bro. It's the best podcast I ever bro, been on. Bro, you family, life. nigga. So if you never been on, if you never watched Weed and Whiskey Podcast, please tap in. He's, this nigga right here is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he be asking some wild ass questions, but it makes the podcast so much more fun, my nigga. Like, it is like I feel so comfortable on that podcast. It felt like it felt like I wasn't being interviewed. It just felt like I was just there and just talking to people. All right, and so I want y'all to see that side of me. I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give your audience something before they mm-hmm. go. What if you don't get no pussy tonight? If I don't get no pussy tonight, that's fine. Um, <laughs> I'm a, uh, uh, like, I mean, that, that, that sounded that's so fine. disappointed. That's fine. Like, <laughs> like I said, if I don't listen, get no I'm pussy a, I tonight, I don't around, know how I'm gonna fall asleep. Around, listen, I, don't run, I don't run around looking for pussy at the end of the day for me. So, but like, uh, I, it's it, it's it's a um, person out there that they know she know who she is, and that's it. I ain't, I don't gotta say her name. I don't gotta put no at names. None of that. She know who she is, and, I, and I, that's I left that. the club the other day, and I walked by this girl who said, you know, one pussy sleep, pussy sleep. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I can't live like that. I can't live like that. Cause all pussy not worth it. So most like pussy I said, ain't worth it. The girl that I'm talking about, she know her at name and, and her that. pussy's worth it. That's that. That's he, that. He's gonna make sure he come catch you before Listen, you fall like asleep. I said, even if I don't catch you before she falls asleep, I'm going to sleep. That Miss homie. Good Pum Pum Girl, I'm gonna be at your window with the boombox and a rock to no. at your window. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this thing. Yeah. Please be nah, up. Really, really I don't want to wake though, the neighbors man. up. That's really my guy, man. I love this nigga, real shit. <laughs> nah, I love you too, love my nigga. nigga you man. Me, my nigga. Thank you for shout making out the time. Shout out to Weed and Whiskey Podcast, man. Shout out to MB, man. E M B definitely dot underscore. Yeah, I got it right, right? No, E M B dot M B underscore. Damn, this is so much fucking M B. Yeah, <laughs> they stole my name. It's a white nigga from UK. That, 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 but we all saw it. It all translates to M B. No, exactly. E M B E is M B, but if I mean it's like five two five two, same shit. And I feel like I gotta say this just because this nigga is sitting right here. Please grab her by the pussy. We can say this nigga sick. Yo, all right, man. Shout out Weed and Whiskey, man. Have a good one, y'all. Right, <laughs>